Welcome to part two of Easy Rust Techniques. The first color I'm using is Payne's Gray, which has a, a very blue tint to it. I'm now gonna mix in some of the media tinting base. This will make the Payne's Gray more opaque, but slightly lighter, so I'm looking for a medium gray. Once dry, apply one coat to the substrate. Next colour is carbon black. I'm going to pour a small amount of the fluid acrylic onto a piece of perspex. And then using a soft brush, I'm going to spread the paint out thin. This is the rust texture stamp in the industrial set. Now I'm lightly going to pat this into the wet paint and stamp onto the cog. Keep moving it in different directions. You could use a permanent ink to do this, but stamping with paint will give you texture. Make sure you wash your stamp immediately. Now I'm going to add a few scratches to the surface using exactly the same process. Alternatively, you could use a sponge to add the colour and build up texture. Next I'm going to apply one coat of quinacridone gold. You can see from this angle, the texture on the cog, that the stamp paint is given. Finally, I'm going to apply one coat of the Media Ultramat Varnish. This will remove the natural sheen from the pigments. So that's Easy Rust Techniques Part 2. Thanks very much for watching. For more information about the media range, please visit decoart.com.